Dime, Vitigo. We're rolling, baby. Got the homie up in here. Yes, yes. We do the cheers before the yes, cheers, ceremonial. Cheers. This is the ceremonial cheers. Salud, cheers, dinero y amor. Yes. Que belleza sobra. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Family is in the building. Family is most definitely in the building. We got mm-hmm. money. You already know what it is, man. You be the underboss, the apex. My partner, Hurricane Joe Weezy in the building. Fuego Talk is back with a very, very special invited guest. This time it's like really special because she's family with the homie Hurricane Joe Weezy for years now. We call her what? P Money? Mrs. P Money. Mrs. P Money. <laughs> AKA, what is it? A vibe? Uh, Paola. Paola? Yes. But what is it on IG? IG is Vida underscore with P. Oh, okay. Vida with yeah. P. I thought it was Vibe with Different. P. Okay, no. Vida with P. That's what's Another. up. So we got Paola Another. in the building, y'all. Another hey. one. Yes. Another one. Thank you for coming, P. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you. Thank you. Your presence is, is greatly appreciated and very welcome. Thank you. So um, so let's get started because we like to get started right away. Yeah, jump yes. into Fuego it. Talk is about, yeah, we jump right into it. So <laughs> can we give everybody a little bit of background on, on who Vida with P is, Paola, what, what, what it's all about? Of Talk course. to them. Um, so before I start that, I've known Vic for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was the one that named me uh, Miss P Money. <laughs> P Money. Himself <laughs> because of how we met or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much how the name came about. I'm Honduran. I'm 37, and I have two boys. I live in Miami uh, for like about mm, since I was like 12, like 12, 13 years old. Um, so your whole life? My whole life. Grew up in Miami? Yes. And I lived around. I moved around when I came from Honduras with my parents. I moved to probably like five different states, five di- different states. And... After that, I came here and I finalized myself here because I was like, "Mom, we're not moving anymore." Did we're you like it here? It. Or you I were did, just tired of moving? I was just tired of moving, and I liked it here because of the weather. I love the hot weather. Mm, yeah. uh, but then I still didn't want to move. Mm-hmm. My mom always moved like a lot, like a lot, oh, a lot. Nice. So I was like, "I'm not doing this anymore. Please just set me in a place and just leave me there." Mm-hmm. And that's how we ended up here. So by that and time, you were already what 12? 13? 12 years old. 12. 12, 13, about to be 13. That's what's up. So you you were the day county girl. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. What part of Dade County? What part of Miami? Well, listen, I lived everywhere. Oh, really? As well. So you've been around? <laughs> yes. So what? You, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't tell right me. Right now, I'm currying Hialeah, which I hate. Oh, I man. Hate. Come on. I thought you were going to say, come on. You love no. it. No. Come on. This is ghetto here, guys. Oh, my this God. This is too much here. People this is are terrible. just so entitled. I just can't. Now, see, all the Kendall homies are going to make fun of me now. <laughs> but I don't like Kendall either. <laughs> but I don't like Kendall either. Traffic is terrible, but I would prefer I Kendall than Hialeah. Kendall. I feel like uh, I feel suffocated in Kendall. And I would prefer more. Moving down Broward, then oh yes, yes. move up, move up. Yeah, move up. I don't like up. it over there. Broward is is easier. It's less on the pockets as well. Oh, he yes. loves Broward. Yeah, less. I know, the since, but Pleasant but you thing. weren't always Broward. But I what had happened? that, that stakeout. Um, <laughs> No, no, the a thing is, it's a stakeout. It's like a honeycomb hideout. You got to know, you know. He's got a honey home, a honeycomb hideout in Broward. He's yeah, got one in Virginia. He's got them all over. I like you got to learn how to, like, maneuver. That's how he does. Switch. <laughs> like, switch it up. No, because. Go from one thing to look, another. Look, right Quick. Now, we're looking at Quick. An, another place somewhere else, too, because you got to stretch your money. You got to make your money work for you. Why we got to keep working harder? That's what what is it that. Se uh, están matando for the dream. Whose dream? You remember that movie? No. Yeah. <laughs> Whose dream are you dying well. for? You can't beat that. This is how much you make. Why are you trying to? Yeah. It's it's diff- That's what I'm saying. It's different here. We Absolutely. understand that. You remember that movie uh, Heat with Robert De Niro? Yes, sir. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Remember when he would tell Val Kilmer, if, if you can't drop everything in ten seconds, <laughs> get going. You're doing something wrong or something like. I forgot exactly what the quote was. Now I have I'm to watch the movie. Thirty seconds. It's a really good movie. Really, really good movie. Heat. It's called Heat. Heat. Yes. Heat. Al Pacino, oh my God, Robert that was incredible. Oh my God, Al Pacino, like Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, and those are good yeah. actors too. So the yeah, best. That's the first time they put no, them no, together. No, no, tremenda película. That's why. That's why. So yeah, what happened? That's the first time they put them together. Those two. Imagine Al Pacino, okay. Robert De Niro. You put me onto something. Now so, I have something to watch. Yeah. Yeah. To the dope movie too. <laughs> dope movie. Yeah, I highly recommend that one. Um, so. Honduran. You were born in Honduras. Yes. Both parents, mom and dad, Honduran. Both yeah? parents. Fully totally Honduran. A hundo. Very proud a Honduran. So at what, a age, hundo. at what age did you guys come to the states? I was like about eight or nine. Oh, eight or nine. Mm-hmm. So right. them. So those four years, you were bouncing around all the states. Well, well like, no. like like in northern states or where was? Yes, it? I went from. My dad lived in uh, Maryland. Oh wow! Like so the cold. You were up there in the DC, winter. Yeah. yeah. So wow. I went, I lived there a year. So you went through the colds oh. up there, like the yes. snows? Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. So the first time I'm coming to the United States, and that's the first thing I live. Like, 
beautiful weather, then it's the cold, then the spring, because all the seasons happen over the there. The seasons, right? Yeah, you all, you all experience the though. seasons, right? The yeah. Unlike Miami. orange <laughs> color, yes. It's hot, but I like It's like it. summer year-round here. But Crazy. it's different. Right. It's expensive. The people are different. The way they speak are different. It's different in here. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, we're probably one of the most ghetto states. Yeah. New York too, well, like these places. But the truth here. is that we live where everybody wants to come vacation. Yeah. Yeah. That's we why it's so here. packed all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I like I it love though it. here. I love it. I love it. I just want to move out of Hialeah. Hialeah. I hear you. I hear you. I'm back. I'm back in Hialeah now after many years really? being out. Yeah. Tell me w- you don't tell me you like it? I'm not gonna lie. Yes. I love it. I'm and I'm back like in my old neighborhood where I grew up as a kid. I used to play baseball down the street. So this is like it's a real good vibe for me. You know what I mean? But I love are it. you back living or are you back just like business wise I'm back business wise and I'm back living yeah I'm back in the east side east side like, Hialeah business is like okay to yeah, yeah. you do your thing and then you leave back yeah, to no, I'm here. the, I'm here. the I'm regular here. society Good I'm point. here from early a.m. I get up five and I go and do my my little yeah. walk my little <laughs> exercise in the morning I love it I love it I love it there's good things about living here yeah I love it's it. like a small Spanish little city yeah it is. there's corner stores Right now, you go downstairs, there's a corner store downstairs, yes. you get a bag of ice, you get un yeah. paquete de plato because you yeah. ran out of plato. No, there's like, nothing like Hialeah, bro. You get me? Like, it's, it's, yeah. there's very all Very resourceful, food. very yeah, resourceful. Yeah. There's a lot hundred of, supermarkets yes. that you can go to, Sedano Presidente, and yes. like right there across the And street. everything is like low for the low out here. Yeah, the nice gas is for the low, yeah, everything. Except that. the rent. <laughs> the gas. Except the rent. No, but the rent is Except crazy. The rent. Why? Because we're all hustlers and everybody trying to get the most for their for their. I got so, I don't get it. Yeah, the most bang for their buck. Miramar, yeah. which is a nicer area. Yeah. Pembroke Pines, rent starts going down. I don't get it. Yeah, it's even a little cheaper up there. It's crazy. It but it's not going to be. It's not but that's the problem. Be like that for a long yeah. time. Remember, Every, that's going to. The problem soon. with Hialeah is that everybody wants to be there. It's like the sat- oversaturation of like. Latinos. It's, it's like very the, centric, I think. Yeah, it's like the hub. Yeah, it's like the hub because every Latin person wants to be in Hialeah. Everywhere is like 20 minutes. Yeah, and you can get anywhere in 20 minutes. minutes. I've always said minutes. that. From yeah. the middle, I'll get, yes. in, I'll get yeah. to yeah. Fort Lauderdale yeah. in 20 minutes. I'll get Quick. to Kendall yeah. in 20 no, minutes. I have yeah. to go uh, to... Yeah. Get to the beach in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Down south tomorrow, 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah, tops. Yeah. Super quick. That's the beauty of Hialeah, yeah. you know what I mean? And I love it. You know, like I said, I grew up here. I was born in Chicago, but we moved down here early when I was like, you know. Yeah, two, three years old. And I love Hialeah. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. It gets it gets frustrating. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Like for example, I never drive during traffic hour. Like six AM to like nine thirty, ten AM, I won't I won't drive. You're privileged though. Yeah, I won't drive. Yeah, because <laughs> I have my own business. Yeah. So I set my yeah. schedule around that. Exactly. And then two thirty, three PM to like five, six PM, I won't drive. Yeah, but because you make your the own traffic schedule, is crazy. Which is yes, of course, yes, of course. Yeah, so I, I try I, to always set myself around. Maneuver that. yourself, yes. toward, which I wish, but yeah. I catch uh, every traffic thing. Jesus stress. Christ. Do the kids do the kids get a ride home from bus? Or the bus, or you pick them up? How does that work? The oldest, I drop him off. Cool. Because he's going to a different school because he wanted exactly. to go to that school for the basketball team. Beautiful. Mm. Um, until he starts driving, which mm-hmm. I'm not ready for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. I, I gave him my car. Crazy. He kind of crashed it. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. No. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! And I just finished fixing it. Wow. Yeah, and then the little one gets picked up by the bus, and then my mom picks him up after school because he is in a robotics pro- a program. Oh, wow, robotics! Oh, wow. Go boy! Oh, he's he's definitely. He's the one boy. that gives me the the most. And the, the great, yeah. the, the beautiful problem. You know what? I think it is, and it it happened to me. So I think it's something that people should talk about as parents. Everything now is like, oh, they have HDHD, like like give him medication. Everything, or, yeah, everything. Right. Um, there's something wrong with him. Take him to a doctor. Go take him to a, you get me, like, you I know. get therapists yeah. and things like that work for children, yeah. but he was trouble when he was little. My goodness, D was trouble, guys. You don't understand that. I would lose my mind, right? And to one day, the teacher's like, I think that Dylan, it's ahead of all the children. I said, why? She goes, because he learns things quicker than others. She's picking it up. He gets yeah. bored. So, so that's why bored. he's like all over mm-hmm. the place, talking, moving, yeah. touching, and, ah, and riendose mm-hmm. and being the, the, the funny right. jokester of the classroom. He absorbs everything too fast, and so then I'll that's be it. I'll like, Papi, get that pasta. Like, yeah. I don't, mommy don't want to punish you no more, okay? He'll be like, mommy, mommy, I'm bored. So she's like, we're going to test him. We're going to see how his levels come out. If those levels are elevated, that means that Dylan's like a gifted student. Mm-hmm. I said, mm-hmm. perfect. 
He that's was. What, he was. That's nice. what's up. Beautiful. He's so smart. Like, he's so smart. So they put him if, in a different class, like a different yes, curriculum? Yes, gifted, uh, gifted classes. Nice. From now on to, he could go to um, college with wow. gifted classes. And that's everything. awesome. <laughs> so if I would have went ahead and followed what those doctors were telling me to give yeah. him medication. You would have right. made him dummy. Put him on Ritalin yeah. or whatever. Because it calms him down. Yeah. It makes him like so-and-so. It makes him so-and-so. I prefer my kid being crazy like that. Then yeah, yeah. Figuring I always it say out. That. I always say that, yeah. Then me giving him medication. Then what yeah. happens when he's like 13, 14, 15, mm-hmm. and he needs to get off that medication? Absolutely. Like, he's an addict already. They, they're addicks. What are we doing? Na- yes, yeah, anything. You, know, you could get up. addicted to Tylenol, for God's sake. Mm-hmm. Like, you get me? Like, yeah, no, my stepdaughter was the same exact thing. She was very like that. And very they, active, and very all like, over the place. Yeah, and they prescribed her the whole thing. And when, and when I got with my ex, I told her, no, we're not going to give her that. I don't like the way she I think that me. messes up kids. Yeah. And the thing about her is she's just extremely creative. She's a brilliant kid. Same thing. Yes. She's a brilliant kid. So she so would so absorb artistic. everything in school and then get mm-hmm. bored of whatever's going on. So she'll start clowning around. So her conduct was whatever, but her grades were all the way up. Oh, right. okay. Same thing. Gifted out kid. Out the yeah. roof. Absolutely. Gifted kid. So but for me. She's super, super brilliant. And I'm glad that you were like, no, we're not doing it. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not giving I don't no like medication. It. I don't like giving the kid the medication and then watching them like, like that's Why? not the kid. That's not my kid. We weren't. I wasn't like yeah. that. Yeah, and yeah. I, I talked way to me, too to much. Me too. And the at psychologists, all. like when between eight and nine years old, that's when I was the most problems. And the mm-hmm. same thing. Uh, I have Tourette, so I'm like, I'm not gonna take that. Yeah, you your, know, the your medica- brain processes yes, shit differently. Fast, 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 like, way like, fast. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Super worry, fast. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You can <laughs> curse. Like, no, 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 but we I'm definitely, like, like, people that are like that, a little bit hyper or whatever, like, we process things a super little bit fast. different. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Super fast. Exactly. And, so, uh, medication is not going to be it. Gonna, Unless absolutely. you necessary, dire need it, I don't think you should give a child medication for stuff like that. I agree. I think you should need to find out there's an issue yeah. beyond that we could actually understand. We cannot get in his brain, but absolutely. these teachers could test him. So this happened during COVID. After that, we did like a video Zoom call with like the Miami Day counselors, and then awesome. I had to take him to school. They did another test, and he was like super smart. And That's I was the sure. happiest His because mama. I was like, there you go. the proudest mom ever. I'm like I did that. That's what's Even up. though his father's really smart, though. That's so what's up. Dope. He's a brain. That's He's nice. A brain. Yeah. That's what's up. So I know he gets it from. Obviously, me. He get it from his daddy, or he get it from his mama. <laughs> he gets it from both of us. I'm gonna have to That's say it's a mix. Is is the dad a Honduran too, or Cuban? no? Cuban. He's Cuban Mexican. Cuban. Oh wow. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. You I broke, was gonna say you, you broke, broke, you broke the, the bloodline. My you, son is a little mud. Yeah. No, and but baby. that's what's up, though. That's good. He has the best of, of, yeah. of all of And he's worlds. creative, and he's artistic, and he's in the robotic, robotics problem. Like, I'm like, puppy, how do you do all these things? He's like, mom. And that's he comes so every day yeah. excited, and he no jode tanto. Que lindo. That's beautiful, Dope. man. That's guy's going to have a good future. God bless him, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just Shouts out to Dylan, that. man. Yeah, keep, keep doing your thing, that. kid. Yes. I see you. you I gotta see you. Ask, look, watch this. So what I, this is what I do with my son. is like, you as a parent want to drive that person into like what you want to see no you have to do it different what is it you want to do mm-hmm. get behind him mm-hmm. don't right. get in front don't get on the Support side him. Mm-hmm. get yes. behind Absolutely. and you'll be the best friend ever Facts. you'll see you'll yeah. see you no go, wow. I, I do because mm-hmm. my 16 year old um dylan's far from being uh, uh sporty far like <laughs> i said puppy you should play football you know because he's like huskier and i'm right. like bro you're not somewhere yeah, now, yeah, puppy. Yeah, yeah, i yeah. know you got it <laughs> he'll be like i don't like that mom no, that's he's like, good um, He's not so on. I'm like, okay, but Jaden, Jaden's a basketball player. He's super athletic. He's tall, skinny. He plays basketball 24 hours a day. Like he's there, 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 there. Completely the opposite. So that's yeah. his thing, the sports. Yes. That's what's up. And awesome. he's a he's a honor student too. Mm-hmm. Same same uh, dad. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Different, is he Cuban too or no? No, he's Puerto Rican. Oh, Puerto Rican. Ooh, she said Puerto Rican. <laughs> she went around the Caribbean. <laughs> she said Puerto Rican. <laughs> that's no, but what's the up, kids, are, the kid, the both that's kids are brilliant. Up. Yeah. There you go, P. But that's, that's what's up, man. That's one of my biggest things that I could actually say that I, I'm i doing a good job at. Yeah. And that's Being that's a, a beautiful thing because that, that's one of the things that we like to commend. And, and my partner always likes to highlight that and, and spotlight the women who are single mothers Absolutely. and are doing a great job raising raising the yeah. kids out here. Especially boys. Because it's not easy to raise boys. Great it's is hard, a good guys. word. Wait, yeah, great especially is, for a woman especially alone. Boys. Listen, yes. great, great is an okay word, a phenomenal yes. job. Let me phenomenal. use a 10-letter word there. Being a single <laughs> parent. Yes, I'm not going to say that. I don't have help because mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. It'll be impossible. You know, I'd be like, it takes a village. village right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you have like two, three people, that is your village. You yes. get me? Yes. Like my mom and my sister are always there for me. Those, um, those. That's a blessing. But I am a single parent. Right. And I do things mostly on my own. Of course. Um, But it's hard. 
hey, that's it. You listen. You have whatever it's help so you have. It's so difficult sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's just mm-hmm. you and the kids. I always tell my mom, I said, mom, yeah. I get it, but it's a little bit different. Like, she, um, the other day someone asked me, what is it that you're doing different as a parent that you didn't want your mom to do to you when you were younger? And I was like, that's a good question. That is a good question. Because I am doing completely the opposite of my mom used to do. So okay. before, you know, you couldn't really come up to your mom and be like, mom, I'm smoking. Mm, yes. You're open getting with my it. friend. Yeah, not yes, back yes, in the day. You're you're open about, I took yeah, a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you that's can't do that. That's the difference. Yeah, that's the difference. Absolutely not. My mom would be like, you know, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a little bit more <laughs> understanding, right? We're a little right. Bit I feel more like, hit. listen to him. Right. Oh, like, just listen to your kids. Listen yeah. to what they have to tell you. And then take it from there and teach them how to make the right decisions. Because I feel like if you tell kids, don't do this, they're going to be like, why not? They're going to do it. When you say no. I want to see what this is right here. Mm -hmm. Why is my mom telling me no? I Mm -hmm. try to educate my children on, you could do it. Uh, Absolutely. I'm not going to. I'm not always going to be there stuck to you like gum yeah. and be at those parties. You know, people are going to smoke. They're going to drink. They're going to have sex. I get it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We've been there. I, we were there. I was 16 yeah, too, getting yeah. jumped off at parties yeah, too, puppy. Yeah. Like, I've always yeah. believed in talking to the kids. Stop playing with me. And like, I tell them these are the consequences. This is yes. right. This is wrong. Everything that you do that's wrong, there's something right behind it coming right. for you. There's a tail. Mm-hmm. There's and a it tail. might not be right away, but it's going to catch up. Facts. I go in sometimes right now, these are like, I feel like the most crucial years for like a 16 year old. This is what defines what you're going to do later on. I promise you, it really does. Because if I would have listened to my mom when I was 15, 16, and I wasn't even that bad, mm. I would like to say mom, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would have done way better than where I'm at right now. Okay. Right. I promise you. Like you have to, I tell them, Listen, let me guide you. I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you wiggle room for you to be able. Yeah, I'm going to let you do what you do. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop you. Right. But when I tell you cut it out because this is going to lead to this, you need to listen. There's no possible way that you think that what I'm telling you is for your, like, not for your good. Right. You'll be like, I get it, mom. I'm smarter than that. That's what we always think, puppy, Mm -hmm. that we're smarter than all of them, like than most. And we're really not sometimes. No, of course. And at the end of the We're day, really freaking not. mom's <laughs> been no. through it. Mom's I giving know you those. Best. Yeah, mom knows best, and Trust she's giving me. you that that knowledge, that wisdom, because she's been through it. She's been down that road, so she knows what can happen. I don't think they see me like that, though. That's why they don't. That's they what it is. Like I'm just they don't know. Them. They don't know. P money's a gangster. You know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> my six year old be like, "Ma, no, you're not." I said, "All right, all right. Mm. I don't gotta prove myself to you, but yeah. you don't know me." <laughs> You'll be mm. like, "Mom." I'm like, Papi, you don't know what I've seen, the things I've done. You don't know, like. And that's tough, right? To have like, it's like a fine line. And I don't want to tell him. You don't want to tell him. I've done this, 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 and I've seen this, 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 but I know. Trust me, what you're doing right now, it's gonna lead to like chaos, disaster. Or if he's doing something real good, I'm like, I'm proud of you, bro. Yeah. You got this. See what I'm talking about. It's a beautiful thing. You get me? Like I try to tell him this right here, cut it out. Right. That's stupid. But when he does something good, you encourage him. Absolutely. That's what's up. And I'm behind him 100% on everything. That's and he knows up, that. And I know he knows that for a fact. So I don't think uh, no matter how bad your mom, uh, you were when you were younger, I think your mom did a good job. I think she did an excellent job. Yes, you're a hell of a mother. Thank you. Definitely. I try. Yes. If there's anything in this world that I'm going to do right, it's be a mom. Hell yeah. I, I promise you. No, I see that. I see that. And I love that because that's mm-hmm. like, like I said, my partner loves to commend that. And that's, that's something that we love to spotlight. We like to empower women and I think you single should. mothers that are doing a good job are very, very important to the society right now, especially yeah. in what's going on Super right now. In that's the backbone. That's the backbone yeah. of the family. Man. Let's, 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 let's cut it out. No, that's, no. That's Matriarchs the are, are yeah. this, yeah, man. The women are the backbone of the structure, man. Let's be real about absolutely. the situation. Well, according to Nicole Lynn, uh, uh, she says that we're just fun uncles. Fathers are just fun uncles. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> fun <laughs> uncles. <laughs> Even though I, I, contrary to popular belief, I like to go against that. I like to give her a little pushback on it because you know I think that there there is such thing as a good dad. Okay, dad. watch this. One. There's good fathers. I, out let here. me hit. Let me you know hit you I mean? with the best one. The let me hit you with a dope, dope. Watch this one. Pop, 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 pop. I'm gonna hit you <laughs> with a super dope one. No, the owner of Kinko's said, um, and I took this one on mental note, and it's true. He's like, it doesn't matter how much. This is a billionaire. He says it doesn't matter how much money you have. Um, what matters at the end of the day is if your kids want to hang out with you. Mm-hmm. True. 
take that one down. Real this talk. This dude is about 78. Just Real give talk. him the free game. I'm like, and it's true. Forget forget about all this. Yep. He calls it like fluffy stuff. He has a name for it because they're billionaires. Remember, Kinko's, yeah, he got it on before the get get got on. In the and early therein 90. lies so it's like, the that's insight. That's the answer. That's yeah. the, well, that's, no, that's, that's the insight to life. Know. Really? Because yeah, like yeah, like for example, yeah. I'm I'm already an older guy, so my kids are grown. My son is 28, my daughter's 21. So it's like they gotta really want to hang out with you to hang out with you. Yes, you know what I I'm think saying? that's when I'm gonna know if you did a great job. That's yeah. why I'm giving you that yes. one. I'm giving yeah. you that I'm one. Tell you, I'm gonna tell you <laughs> like this: most of the things that I do, I have small circle of friends. Like I don't really right. You're not mess outside. With You're not yeah, outside. Outside. But when Tell I am outside, outside. <laughs> with my mom and my sister and my family, my Those, nephew. Yeah. I family first. first. The gang. The Those, gang. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are my people. That's what that's it. What are we doing? A party. We're throwing yeah. a pool party. We're on the boat. We're going to. The, my family. Oh, my mom's always there. She's always taking tequila shots. Todo Hondureño. Yeah. Everybody junto. <laughs> what are you? So <laughs> and your family. Up. What is it? Your Together. Mom, yeah. No, but you know, we everybody have a mix. Vibing. We have a mix of Cubans. Who is it? Your mom. Like, oh, okay. Saying, good. Who's that's the core? Good. Your mom, your sister. Like, how's that breakdown? What is it? Who's the gang? Mom, who's the like, inner who, circle yeah. of the gang? Okay, so who's my mom, mafia? my sister, uh-huh. my uh, nephews, okay. obviously my kids, yeah. my brother-in-law. Okay. Um, From your si- that's your sister hubby. Yes. Okay. This is the P Money yeah. Mafia right yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. That's yeah. The you mess with P Money, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of people. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Even though I'm probably the last one that knows bad stuff at the house because I'm a hothead. Right. Right. I'm quick to, yeah, yeah. to pop. do not play with my yeah, yeah. don't play yeah, yeah. so they don't family. even tell you nothing no, they be they keeping wait, shit from you they wait no le diga nada like Paola <laughs> ellos esperan que todos se calmen and be like yeah. oh entonces yeah. mira pasó esto Paola tú no sabes fused. lo que pasó y la like, ¿cuándo pasó esto? they tell you after the fact <laughs> I'm like ¿cuándo pasó esto? they be like hace como unos tales días I'm like pero what were you guys waiting to tell me? they're yeah, like yeah, because yeah. we know how you are bro I lose that's it it's too late for you to go and regulate Paola and I still do it happened she still wants to go and put down yeah I'll be like listen we're not doing this <laughs> those are my i love them i love it those I are my it. people yeah that's that's, that's what it that's is that's your are, tribe that's my tribe that's your yeah. tribe man that's what i it is. promise you like i go hard for yeah. them yeah we're big on that but too. they go hard yeah. for me too yeah yeah yeah. i really way. do like i have a good support system i'm yeah. gonna say that's a blessing oh. it's uh, the most like sometimes yeah. people are like oh no but i saw a post the other day someone put oh it, they say it takes a village, but I hardly have like two, three people. Maybe that is your village. That's your village. Well, one person. Either. Your village but consists you know, of two, three people. That's what's going on. That's, that's and something you're blessed that, to even have two, three you know, people. And that's you know what I'm what saying. That's we, called, wait, that's yeah. called the pillars. The yes. pillars that yes. built the foundation in your family. That's what yeah. people don't yes. realize. Yes. Look at that. Oh, you, you should be happy pillars. that you even yeah. got those two, three uh-huh. people. And what I was going to say is that, that they're not going nowhere. Yeah. They, remember, they're not, those Facts. people, they're not going nowhere. Like, that's what I tell my son. No matter if you do good or bad, I'm not going nowhere. Yep. <laughs> That's no, what I'm simple. Saying. No matter what, Good and when everything love falls, is unconditional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. everything falls, they're always there. Yeah, yeah. that's mm-hmm. a beautiful thing. Good, bad times it doesn't matter what. But what I was gonna tell you is, um, you mentioned the social media thing, and that's what's going on. I think that that we talk a lot about that about the gift the, and the curse mm-hmm. of technology absolutely. and this whole social the media. The little thing. ones on social media, the little one he has a phone. The second one? Yes, they both have. That's I think they both do at that's this point. No, they're the already yeah, because yeah. it's easier for me to when. Whenever they go with their dad, it's easier for me to communicate, communicate of course. with them. So you. what is it, 16 and 12 or 13? No, 10. 16, no, 16 and, 10. and 10. Oh, wow. Dylan's yeah. 10? Yes. Wow. Jaden's of yeah. 16. That's like Oh, you can tell he's going to be Jayden. that. Mm-hmm. That boy going to be a problem. In Giant. robotics at 10 already? Yeah. Wow. And he loves it. That's awesome. And it's a pro. It's a limited program that the school has, and he's in fifth grade now. That's awesome. And until now, he's been there five years. They actually accept him his last year. Dope. He's he was ecstatic, bro. When me tell you, he my boy was like, "Mom, I got into," and I'm just get so happy because to see him like, yes, he doesn't play sports. He doesn't. He's not gonna knock no one out playing football. But yo, that boy's brain is That's like at a max. Congratulations! And I want to Dylan, make man. it like congratulations to you. Congrats. Push to like yes. if that's what you want. Push it to the limit. Let's go, of course. Yes. Yeah, let's push you That's what we're cliff. doing now. Let's yes. push you up. That's all Robotics. I know how to that's, do. That's, yeah, that's, 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 no, let, let me tell you, you, that's the future, though. Absolutely. That's the future. It, uh, no, it is. I'm, we're AI living it robot. right now. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's, Have you seen those dogs? You've seen that. That's what I was going to say. And they're like... It looks scary, bro. They're like very scary, but that's like... I don't like that. Dude, that's modern surveillance already. I know. Those dogs are like police. Aren't they cops, right? They're cops. They can train them to come and they'll hold you down. That's insane. And they can really hold you down. Huh? Those things are supposed they to be can. like real They're heavy. They're stronger like, than any human. They're like, yes. five, you know, put 500 pounds of pressure on you. 
I didn't think I liked that. that. Yeah, I didn't think crazy. I liked that when I saw that. It's I crazy. was like, that can and they look scary. Yeah, because they got hydraulics. It's all boy, it's a crazy design. It's pretty dope though. Yeah, no, it is incredible. I but really do, do you guys do you guys are you old enough to remember Robocop? Did yeah, you see yeah. the movie Roll Cup? Yes, I am. <laughs> we were like little kids back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's that. That's what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Of course. Yes. I mean, you know, not to date ourselves, but mm -hmm. that, that movie pretty much is everything that's going on today. Mm -hmm. We can yeah. wear our age like and we're supposed I to. Robot. I don't mind. I, I don't mind. I'm never, I'm never ashamed of my age. You've seen yeah. I, I And I see a lot of the people yes. I went to school with, and they crazy. They got gray hairs, and they be looking at me like, damn, bro, you still look like we did in high school. I'm like, not really, bro. Listen. I'm still hanging in there, though. You <laughs> has touched me. You still look the same too, Vic, from I when I first I met you. Age. No, I this guy's that. a brand new. I promise He shaves, and he looks brand new. I said, this one look like a baby right now. Go ahead and say shave. It's funny you said that. I was saying yesterday, I got I get ID'd. If I go to buy like a pack of blunts like this, I I'm, I couldn't even get it the other day. I had to um, bring my friend to the house to buy. Because yeah. the guy didn't want to sell it to me. I'm like, I'm 50, brother. Like, no, chamaco, no, yo no te voy a vender los cigarros eso. No, no, no. A man just like that. Like, tiene que, tra tiene que traerla a tu padre. Because you're doing your job. <laughs> I wasn't mad. You get Imagine. Me? You're doing your job. Imagine bro. that. And that's the only store that has that type of, of blunts that my friend smokes. So imagine, I said, yo, let's right. you got to join with me in the car to get it. I can't. I have my idea stayed in the house. <laughs> Un pesado like me, he only smokes a certain type of blunt. Right? Hey, look, let me know. Let me know. What are, really? Yeah. Well, I do. Oh. They're like um some some new banana um like a new banana leaf that came out. Oh, oh so yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a new oh, company. So yeah, I so already know. Now they got them everywhere, but at the beginning you only could get them like in a few places, right? Like exclusive, and they were selling out. Now every store carries them. So I forgot what they're called. Of, um, go ahead. Go ahead. Speaking Sorry. of uh, of uh, TAC friendly stuff, yeah, are you TAC friendly? Are you yeah? Yes, yes, you're cool with it. I yeah. am. So, because it's a beautiful thing, what's going on? I think in the states, because when we Correct. were kids, TAC was not legal anywhere. Absolutely. And now not. it's legal in what, like almost half uh, of the 38, states, 38, 38, 38, 38, 38, 38, more than half. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. Well, you could grow it all. That's different. Almost all the states now. Yes. Yeah, that's a great thing. Yeah, yeah. that's different now. Yeah. Culture change. Yeah. Culture a shift. And I think, Absolutely. and I think what we were talking about, just to just to bring it back real quick, um, we were talking about the kids and the medicines and the things like that. Mm -hmm. I think cannabis is a way better alternative to people that need to than take hard something medicine, hard than medicine, hard, than yeah, yeah, yeah. hard prescription and, and, and fabricated in my opinion, medicine. You know, of course, I'm not a doctor or anything, watch, but I think watch this fabricate. Okay, ready? Yeah. Fabricated medicine, invented medicine. Yes, yeah. this right. is yeah. medicine that comes from the plant, so it's different. It's Eastern medicine and Western medicine. Oh right. God, there's a show that I watched on Netflix. What pills? It had to Stop do with Vicodin. It. Oh, pills! Wow. The, the, that thing, that series, it's pills. A, it was it, a series called, called Pills. pills? Yeah, 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 yeah. Every yeah, we watched that. I don't remember the name right now, but. Yo, that's crazy. It's when real, you yeah. see those shows, those documentaries, and you look at those numbers, it's, it's, it's insane. staggering. Yes, it's crazy. No, no. I can't, I can't, the the amount know, of people addicted. And the, the, the amount money, of people but the money, those the amount companies, of money, hey, they oh were hey, making. Hey, they have to pay. Remember this. It's a, no matter, they kill average. Watch this. I told them the other day. It's sad. I'm the numbers guy. They kill average, these whatever pills, fifty to 60,000 people average, and all they do is the FDA just fine them $5 billion. So they could pay the losses of the family who lost the victim. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. The so we good. That's you the, get me? As long as we watch the, the Roxy hands. set people, right, or the Percocet people, yeah, or something yeah, like that. Like, yeah, yes, yes. It's the same. The, the family same. that made those 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 drugs. Yeah. It's crazy. The Oxycontin. Yeah. Oxycontin, Oxycontin. 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 You could smoke. The weed has no addictive problems. And they let it pass. They you can smoke it. and smoke and yeah, smoke. Yeah. They pass and, and you'll never be like, if you don't have it, you're not going to die. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Those pills, if you start taking those pills, have to, they will, after a two or three week this. period, you cannot function can without I taking the was, pill. They were breaking and if you do function, well, I've heard that it feels like your whole body, like you have a cold, like you have die. a you fever, you like your whole yes. body is just shutting down like on you. It's a terrible feeling. Yes, yes. They were breaking into pharmacies for the fix. Yes, the withdrawals are crazy. That's a I I was like, my goodness, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick to what I know. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stick to that. No, it's serious, <laughs> man. Period. I don't want none of that. Yeah, I want none of that pressure. Yeah. Because so I feel like sometimes it, you don't have control over it. No it fact. just takes control it over takes. you. Yeah. That, that's what I try to tell my boys. No matter who, how strong or how big you are, yeah. it has that it will control you. Absolutely. I've seen the control, biggest, yeah. baddest, strongest, the biggest, dudes, yeah, the biggest, the strongest, yeah, and lose everything. Suck them Family, to that money, company, yes. absolutely. Yes.
And I'm Percocet. It gave me a bad effect. Like, I was drugged out. I was like this the whole time. Like, I couldn't even move. Like, I'm like, I don't like this. Well, I've yep. taken it after. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I, um, they give it to you after you get birth. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I had a C-section, so they cut yeah. me up. And they yeah, give yeah. you medication for pain. pain. Yeah, 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 pain. Oh. Knocks me out mm-hmm. completely. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember. Um, Five minutes into it, I promise yeah, you. Yeah, that's how it is. Mm-hmm. I, I tore a ligament. To the only time like in that? my. Huh? Who wants to do that to knock out like that? That's Nobody. what I'm saying. That's so stupid. Nobody right? wants to go to sleep. <laughs> but yeah. see, that's the difference. <laughs> I don't know what? That's the difference. Like I said, we're we're a different no type of me. people. We're like the upbeat, like, you know, right? right? There's people that like that shit. To get it like out of my mouth, Like I said. Let me get another one. Mark, you got that? Thank you. What I was going to say is that. um. The only time in my life that I've taken those things, um, what do we, what, what are we talking the Percocets, right? Perks. Or Oxers or whatever yeah. they are. It's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, Vicodin, no? it's the same, it's the same Perks. Same yeah, they're all it's the same. almost the same, yeah. Mm-hmm. My point is the only time I had to take that was I tore a ligament in my oh, right foot. Okay. I had a torn ligament. Okay. So they prescribed me them shits. And I remember I had to take them. The pain was unbearable. Mm-hmm. I had to take them. Bro, I would take like whatever it was, like you said, like a half, because I was scared to take the whole thing. Because I took like the whole thing the first day or whatever. Boy, my Maria threw up and everything. But um, what I was going to say, long story short, is that torn ligament made me take those things for like a week or two. I was on those things. You know what I mean? The first night, I took like a whole one, and I barfed like a I, That's what like I did. I threw up, and I'm like, I didn't like this. I'm so like, the uh, next day, I was like, boy, Because your body so. can't handle it. That's yeah. why it's throwing up. So my girl was like, no, just take half or whatever. So I took half. Mom, I was able to take it. But, bro, even with half, you feel crazy. I'll be like, yeah. Like that, like oh, I was God. drooling. Yes, like yes. I was like, yes. like, like bro, like, like you don't. Who wants that? You're like, uh, like Pete just said, who wants to be that way? Who no. don't? Who want? Yes, who enjoys no. that? Nobody. It's just like heroin, people. Like yeah, when you do heroin, saying, and you're yeah, like, yeah. like, yeah. like that all that's messed cool up. to you? That's cool. No. That's your vibe. No. I I that's burn crazy. and that's it. That's it. I move and I do anything. Yeah, clean. Name to Jesus, I could do anything. And to me, I burn a little bit and I just get focused. Like I'll just zone in on what I'm doing. I promise you, it makes me a better person. I like to see. Yes, yes, I agree. I, I I could do anything like that. And but some people can't work, can do nothing. And I'm like, yeah. I say that about that everything, though. I say that I say that cannabis is good for everything. Right. Because if you have a headache, you smoke a little bit, it'll go away. You have a stomach ache, you smoke a little bit. You're hungry. You have a little ap- loss whatever of it is. You ate too much and you're too full. Smoke a little bit. Smoke a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna settle my stomach. It, yeah, it's it's cra- it does. crazy because it does. <laughs> it's a coat. It's, I, call I don't it know a, what it, it is. Does. Does. I call it, does. it a coat. Mm-hmm. Like it's a medicinal, coat. dude. And we have our bodies have cannabinoid receptors. So that's like it's naturally. That's what I always tell. Yeah. At the beginning, it was my mom. Be like, a mí no me gusta que tú hagas eso. Because your mom knows you burn? My whole family does. Oh, okay. And I don't do it in front of them. I don't disrespect. You're discreet. Like, You're discreet. Absolutely. You have a pen? Yeah. For my out. kids, too, like everything. You get yeah. me? You're messing with the vape pen? Taste I have. Just burn. You're just burning. I have, but it really, I don't like the way yeah, it makes yeah, me yeah, feel. Yeah, I can tell peace more yeah. like a flower. Yeah, the she burner. likes the flower. Yeah, I don't yeah. like those pens. It's just a weird, what are we smoking? Like, yeah. you you got, me, like, me I don't, too, me too. I, I don't like that. I don't either. like it. I don't want to put that stuff in my lungs. And not that I've never done it. Yeah. I have. No, and, It's and, not yeah. something that I choose to do. Yeah. I prefer, I, you know, I'll do old school. I agree. You get me? Old school. But I'm like, mom, people use this like... For cancer, like yes. for healing, appetite, healing, for their for their powers. pain, for their joints, like it's not you get facts, me. Like, facts: thirty grams in thirty days will put any cancer into remission. That's a fact, a really? very unknown fact. I just learned something new. Thirty grams in thirty days of pure THC in thirty days. Of course, I'm gonna look it up. Even like guys like us that are used to it, a gram a day is very hard to mm-hmm. take. You know what I'm saying? That's like a whole gram in the dab. Imagine dabbing a whole yeah. gram a day. It would, I have to it would be almost impossible. Not a drug. That's, I'm going to yeah. fight you on that. Yeah. It's, I don't think it's a drug. I agree. It shouldn't be classified no, as no, Schedule 1. No, no, why? Oh, oh, you're saying a drug. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. because federally it's still classified as a Schedule 1 narcotic. You know, you're about to change. It's like, you know, That's why I always say be. that. I'm like, I don't think it is. Yeah, I just, when they change Congress, I agree the, with you. when they change Congress, the new open minded, open minded mm-hmm. people that are going to come into the society now, because you're going to have a whole different. Remember, these millennials, they're thinking different. Yeah, that's the thing. We got to yeah. take accountability into yeah. that. So mm-hmm. these are the people who are going to create the change. The same way how Facts. we couldn't get cannabis legal, guess what? They did. Thank you. They're making it happen. World. That's They're what I said. Happen, yeah. What we you. couldn't do. That, and I hey, you. young yes. world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. But it's them. <laughs> it's the younger Salute version the youngins, of man. us that are making it happen. So I know Facts. that's about to happen. That change is coming. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. I do like to add to that. I would like to add to that that at the beginning when I was younger, my mom be like, I see you in MPS, all right? Mm-hmm. Smoking weed. Mm-hmm. You smoke weed, mm-hmm. I feel like that opens doors to the things, Paola. The portal, the portal. Right. She was right. Yeah, right. Yeah. 
She's completely right. Mm-hmm. You're curious. Right. Mm-hmm. You want to see, okay, but I was able to feels, do this. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far? I wonder how that yeah. feels. How far can you go? You get me? Right. And that's when things could either go yeah or nay. Yeah, yeah. Because not every bad. not every individual is strong enough to be able to say, I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, I tried want, it. They want to try it was cool all whatever. the different ones. Oh, that's the thing. They want right. to try the different ones. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to stick to just, okay, I'm going to just keep smoking weed. I didn't like doing that. Mm-hmm. Some people actually like that other stuff and get addicted to that. I do get it. It opens doors to other crap. I agree. It really, truly does. Mm -hmm. But that's when you have to come into play to, that's not what you want to do. I promise you. Like that. The devil dancing. You're dancing with the devil. All these artists or different actors dying of drug overdoses. Look look at that lean. I've never done lean. I don't even know what that is. You see what I'm saying? That makes you sleepy too, bro. (laughs) Why would I do that? I don't like being sleepy like that. (laughs) I don't but know. I don't like being is. asleep. Lean and perks. Look, yeah, one time mm-hmm. I took like half of um, half of a half of a Sanax. Oh my god, that's to go. Back to when sleep. I was like play. 19 years old, yeah. that's to go to sleep. Too. I go to sleep. Bro, it plane. knocked me out. Yeah. Yeah. that I couldn't wake up. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't like that because yeah. why? Who wants to even feel this way that you just feel? And it was just a tiny little itty bitty. It what was color, so sp- blue or white. Crazy. It was white. Or yellow. We know. <laughs> Blue's the football. We know. Blue's the football. I just felt like it was just yeah, things like that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Blue's the football. That's a 50. So half of that is 25. That's a 0.25 MGs. Tú sabes demasiado, yo no sé yeah, todo. Yeah, you, 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 boy, you know a lot, champ. Yo dije la mitad de una mitad. Yo no sé todo measurements. The whites, <laughs> the whites are, 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 are one and the yellows are two. And then Jesus I've had Christ. the green. We can, we can have a whole class no, on this, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they master chemist. No, you know I know my stuff. And then the green he one the stuff. was the yeah, hoax, right? We call the this green This is the German in them. Those are um, three and sometimes they come five. So yeah. you have to break a, 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 those into like... Quarters of like, would you call them the hoax? The hoax because they're like green. I thought I'm gonna get Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this boy, hey, this boy knows oh, my yeah. name. I'm like, but, whoa, oh, yeah, because remember, we fly so yeah. in flying, you want to yeah. come on, but you got a 16 hour flight. A my brother in law, yeah. hello, you. I'm not gonna and be, and he still up. doesn't knock him out, guys. I'm yeah. not gonna be up on the plane if you're if you're you get me like yeah. Vancouver, 11 yeah. hours, 13, Spain, 10 That's hours. Crazy. I'm not gonna be up, dude. I just went to Israel, it was like a 12 hour flight, and I was up the whole time. I can't, yeah, I was just there. No, yeah, it's incredible. See, I can't. Oh my god, that's why trip I of a lifetime. A I'm dying to go back. Yes. Beautiful. I'm dying to take my kids. It was beautiful. Yeah, we're planning a trip to Paris. Really? Dope, wow. Dope. Yeah, the whole Man. family. I've nice. heard. Oh, of, the whole guy. Paris the whole, is not everybody. Yeah, for my sister's brother. birthday, fiftieth birthday. That's what's up. Oh, that's what's up. I think that's gonna be so fun. Yeah, that's I want to take my kids fun. out. I want them. To, I feel like that's how you educate yourself the most. Yes, and and you traveling to different states, places out of the country. Yeah. And, and you strengthen experience. your bond yeah. with the kids too. You know what I'm saying? Like we kids see, will we never have forget fun. Yeah. You learn. Yeah. I think those are great things to like actually like do as a family. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, I'm dying Europe. to take my kids I back love to Israel. Yeah. I love Europe. Yeah, Spain. Europe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spain and Canada. Yeah, you even were in Canada, Spain, right? Yeah, even though yeah. Canada, but we did that whole tour, yeah. But Spain to me stuck out the most. I was looking at my thing right now, like going through pictures, and I'm like, man, I don't even remember I was in Illinois. Illinois. You get me like, damn, because it's a tour that you do. So you're just working. And Some, you're there like, what, one, one, two days? No, it's funny. Sometimes <laughs> a, a groundwork, um, um, four to eight days, or if it's a big area, like in Canada, we did Canada like in less than two weeks, every okay. place you can name. So it all depends how big the territory how, okay. is. Yeah. Canada, how fast Canada's can you cover ground? Canada's pretty freaking big, though, bro. Yeah. But that's to let you know. Remember, so you guys did everything: Ontario, Montreal, everything, Toronto, everything. Except um, um, Winnipeg. And no, um, I think it's. Uh, I'm, I'm don't don't get me wrong. Montreal is the only one that's not the cannabis friendly okay. in the whole Canada. But oh really? Calgary, yeah. Really? Quebec is right. Yeah, yeah. Quebec. We with the Calgary. So British we just, Columbia. We just go there to the spots, and there's only nine provinces, eight provinces in Canada. It looks big, but it's there's not a lot of people in the places. You get me? Like right, Toronto's right, right, right. the biggest spot, and it's four million people. Yeah, you in? Pam pam, you're out. Right, and that's like right across the bridge. Mm-hmm. It's just weird, like how we move. You know, we already know, like. And then we have Toronto's a team. Toronto's the one right, uh, right above New York. Right above, there. right there. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. like home. But it's like a, a, a city too. You're in and out. You know what I mean? Right. That's what's up. Is it different over there? People are different? Um. Yeah, I love it. It's, yeah. it's They have like, watch this. You're walking in the street and somebody's eating something and they're like, hey, you want something? You're lying. I'm not. P, I'm not. Like, watch this. Before you even talk business, like, watch this. They're like, go to the back. They're like, okay, you go in the store. And they're expecting you, and they're like, go to the back. We're having a barbecue. You don't even talk business. You eat first. Yeah. Just crazy. 
And Mexico is not really about business over there. It's more like, it's more like yeah, communism. It's, it's, I love the culture. Like the system is different. A girl's yeah. walking with like something in her hand, the same thing. I go, I'm walking into Home Depot just to get something that I forgot to bring. And I'm coming out and the girl's like, you want something? I'm like, do I look hungry in and my brain? Yeah. But that's the, that's, <laughs> that's, that's and then what I was like, I'm saying. Yeah, no, like I don't just, want any of your stuff. But they offer you. That's why. It's we're not used to that, yeah, though. We're not used to that. Yeah. Dude, that's everywhere. Uh, um, it's crazy. A socialist system, though. But that's Be why careful. I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Here, we're used to the capitalist system. Everybody gets their own. R- absolutely. Get yours. I, know I, I don't Figure know. Figure it out. You want something? You hungry, boy? That. You better get some money. Go get your own food. Mm-hmm. Right? It's a different thing. Absolutely. Those people come out. And Spain, too. It's just like in our countries, like in Latin, you like countries. It's the same mentality yes my sister Ay, went to invita, invita toda la cuadra, ven, yes. mira, estamos un she cuenco. was just so ha- like the way yeah. that they welcome she went to cuba mm-hmm. for the first time with her husband right so. um and she's like they were so welcoming right. mm-hmm. they don't have much yes but they give you everything and, that they yeah, have yeah, whatever right. they have and is yours the whole neighborhood came yeah. out what's so mine I was is like, yours yeah, 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 they yeah. were like yes and she was like oh she wanted some type of fruit I don't know exactly what she was asking and for. They got it. They made sure. Girl, they within it. five minutes, they went to get it for her. Yeah. I was, she You're was like, important. I loved it though. Yeah. It was, they treated me like I was family, and they didn't so even so. know her from my kind of pain, yeah. you know, which I love. And it makes you feel good. That's what yes, I mean. that's the thing about like our people, like my, you know, Cubans. I love Cubans because of that. It's that family vibe, like you said. You know what I mean? And they'll embrace you, and what's mine is yours. You know what I mean? We were actually talking about the other day um, with my family. We were in the backyard of my sister's house. And she was like, why do you think that Cubans, when they first come here to the United States, they exceed mo- most in others? Right. Yeah, because they're hungry for that. Right, appetite. there are, and they help each other. They excel, they're yeah. Like the Jews. Yeah. They they come together, and yeah. they combine. They put yeah. the bridge up. Mm-hmm. And they make, they okay, you need, donde quedarte dos mil ropa, que necesito un trabajo, necesito un carro, I got you. They help you get usually, on your feet. Yeah. Usually, Central American people are not like that. Right. No. They're very... You have to get your own. Figure it out. And if you're yeah, doing better, kind of. like, yeah, we don't like you. Figure it yeah. out, yeah. Cubans are not accepted. like that. Yeah, yeah. They actually are very, um, combi- like, very together community. I think okay. so. That's why they actually do better at yeah. times. No facts. I mean, I like to believe that. I like to believe that we try to be, you know what I'm saying? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were like, they get all these di- different benefits and then Central American go and or struggle or more, but we're more cerrado. Yeah, yeah, close minded. We Absolutely. really are more set out. No, so some, some, you know, South Americans are, are watch this, you know, I'm gonna keep it real. So remember, we imagine if I go to my country, like, well, like, let's say I go to DR, that's my mom's country. So they call me over there, Yankee. I'm not a Dominican. I'm not half Dominican. You of get course. me? Right. Okay. <laughs> We're so gringos for to you them. guys, for, I'm saying, no, no. Este. Well, no, watch what's crazy. For you guys, we still call South America Lo Indios. Yes, of course. you understand. So right. because that's how slow they are. It's like me when I moved into the country. Some people are very, very slow, mm-hmm. but then there's other mother that they're very smarter than you won't ever right. imagine. Oh yeah, they're, right. they're slick. You know, that's right. what we call them. They're witty, but they're just in the country and they have this appearance. Right. But what's up here to everybody is the different. You know, Correct. that's what I'm saying. But believe it or not, those country folks, like you said, they have a different mentality about life. And yes. they, like they in see things and totally general. different. In a different light yes. than we, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. General. It's a totally different way of life, totally different, you know, culture even. You know what I mean? Totally different set of morals. Yeah. When you're in the big city, it's kind of like, you're an ant. More hustle when you're and in bustle, the country, you, you yeah. get to breathe. Right. Mm-hmm. Either you're an ant or you're trying to make yourself, uh, you know, stand out. So you're a puffy, doing whatever. A puffy you'll, exactly. you'll take off a whoever's puff, head. A puff, puffer you know? yeah, puff fish. Look at me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> puff myself Miss up. Puff. Exactly. This is puff <laughs> yeah. from SpongeBob. Exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, those puffer fish are deadly. When you're mm-hmm. trying to be a puffer fish, you might take somebody's head off. Exactly. In the process and, and not then, care and not think about it twice. And that becomes an issue, too. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, that's that ambition. That's something that you got to check yourself. Yeah. So, there's a, sec- a segment that, we, uh, that we've been doing, Paola, mm-hmm. that uh, it's called Fuego or Smoke. Okay. So, we, like, we throw something at you. It's supposed to be like a rapid fire segment, but we, it's never really rapid because people always want to explain their answers. <laughs> but we just throw something at you, and then you say, if you like it, Fuego, and if you don't like it, it's Smoke. You got Smoke with it. You know if I mean? don't like it, Smoke. If I like it, Fuego. Yes. Okay. Yes, so, you know what I'm saying? You want to start it off, champ? Yeah. Trump. <laughs> Like way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. <laughs> he, he he gets he gets serious quick. Trump, Trump. Because we know what Biden's doing right now. So that's the thing. We're trying to get everybody's take on it to see who's yeah, who's, so your, who's Trump twenty twenty four. Who's is your opinion? <laughs> who's gonna girl. keep this thing? I'm gonna going go with, with Joey. Fuego, bro. Fuego, there it is. Fuego for Trump. 
Fuego yeah. for Trump? Fuego for Trump. Trump because 2024. I have my own opinion about it, but yeah. Yeah. There's you just, I, I'm looking, I would have to say, I'm looking at the bigger picture. Right. Other than who he is. Right. As a human, as a person, his personality. Right. I'm looking beyond that. I agree. Absolutely. Like we're, we doing bad. Yeah. In a critical situation. So yeah, yeah. Talk to them. And when he His was there. is inflating too quickly, sweetheart. Right? Talk to them. <laughs> and when he was there, we weren't Woo. that bad, right? When he no. was there four or five years ago, we weren't and that this bad. And these are conversations that I actually asked one of my coworkers, and she happens to be 19 years old. Oof. She, 19, she don't 20. know. Yeah, yeah, she, I think she just, know, she just turned 20. Okay, yeah. I was like, will you vote for Trump if he yeah, came? Yeah, the time. What did she like, say? Well, no, let me tell you something. Wow. <laughs> She's like... We're doing bad, okay? And I'm like, yes. He goes, he's a little, you know, but he, we, I think we're gonna have to vote for him. For Trump? Yeah. Even even she said it. Even the right. young people. And she's it. a 20 year old young girl. That's the pulse of, the, like as I said, that's the like, pulse of the street. Mm-hmm. That's the pulse. Mm-hmm. That's the real. I'm gonna pulse. go with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Trump is fuego. We accept it. Yeah. All right. All right. What about Drake? I don't know, Drake. It's a little disappointing right now. <laughs> What disappointed you? The house album? Where, where, where did he lose you? <laughs> where, did, where did he lose you? I don't know. It's just a lot of little things going on. Yeah? You're not the feeling music, it? The music, I feel like. He's searching for himself again. He needs to find him. Uh, I know. He himself, needs to find love. Inside, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he needs to figure and you know, it out. And little Yachty called them out. He's like, Didn't he do like his weird haircut what? the other day? Or not like a hairstyle? I don't know. He came out with his nails painted. He's been off. He's been weird. Look, you know what little I don't know Yachty, what little Yachty, Yachty asked him. Um, why don't you do love songs? And he goes, is that because I'm not feeling love? And then your little Yachty's like, well, I get into character mode and I can write about a love song. Somebody so needs that's to that's why he's off dog. because the, my dog is, is perdido and I'm a Jesus me pase la mano. <laughs> All those girls and all that you're doing it. with, it, it comes yeah. to a point that you don't feel holy no more. You already did that. You get me? How many fine th- women you're going to be? It, th- right, he could get anyone he wants We to all know that. You. So you need love. So what are you so saying? You need, what are you, you saying? Need love. Drake, Drake you need queen new love. Is that what you're saying? Drake needs wifey. Wifey? He needs yes. wifey and then yes. he needs wifey to break his heart. Whoa. Wow! Because artists make wow. real good music when they get their heart broken. Wow! Thanks. Pay attention, to them. pay attention, Talk artists. To this is the, Paola giving y'all some gems right now. They come, <laughs> they come with some heat when no, they're no, heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. Them yeah. songs fire, be yeah. hitting. It's fire, yeah, yeah, huh? Because it's the Put real. That what you, ten what times. You, so that's what it is. You, it, you got you got smoke with Drake until he gets his heart broken. That's what it is. He needs to get to it. Get through the relationship, love, get heartbroken. Go Make through it, Make good kid. love songs and then heartbreak songs. Go through it, Champagne Poppy. <laughs> Por favor. Gracias. Go ahead, Champ. What else you got for Pete? Um, Nike. Um, I'm going to go with Fuego. Okay. Yeah? That's what's You're up. a sneakerhead? I, I, don't, I was when I was younger. I can't I'm afford not, that shit right now because my it. kids need the sneakers. <laughs> so the kids, <laughs> I promise the you. The kids are the sneakerheads. Like, yeah, Jaden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $350 okay. shoes and I'd be like, and I get it. He's young. Those shoes are the same shoes that we used to wear. We were yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to do him like okay. that. Okay. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. So you're single, you said, right? I am. So dating. <laughs> <laughs> dating in Miami smoke in 2023. Smoke, you said. Fuego or like, smoke. Yeah. That's <laughs> just beyond smoke. You got smoke, beef okay? with it? Beyond smoke? Whoa. You got beef with the dating scene right now? Disgusting. It's For real? Disgusting. It's pressure? Go ahead, put it out there. It's not even pressure. We got 12 minutes. Because pressure is like, I feel like there. it's a good thing. Because pressure builds scene. diamonds, and yeah. that shit's not building a damn thing. No, Dating here in Florida or Miami, you could say, let's put it down to Miami because it's not even Florida. Miami. They're all married. Yeah, no, Miami's its own state. <laughs> Miami's like they its all, own. They're all married. They're all married. They're all married. Baby, <laughs> all of them. Well, that's because you're looking for a certain kind of guy. That's what it is. Okay. We're not going to get into for, that. Yeah, you're going for the 1%. That's what it is. No, no. Those I guys are all ne- taking have, you. don't I search for gold. I think you don't, you're not a, you don't look for gold. No? No. There's she, a method she, to your madness? Yes. What is it? She's subtle, bro. Look where she comes from, Papa. Understand? No, but I, I want to hear her take on it. Go ahead. I want to hear it. her break it down. Okay. I do go for a certain type of guy because it works for me. So the same way a guy uses me to get whatever he wants out of me, I do the same. I'm going to do this because you're convenient to me at the time and it works for me. The moment it doesn't work for me, I move and there's no pressure, no problem. You do you, I do me. 
That's a very transactional way to look She's at things. She's so P. real with it. No, it's no, that's simple. why that I know now it's why so you call her P Money. That's what I'm saying. She's a it's very like a, she's a hustler mind real, state, dude. In the real, because that's why I told you. I'm not about to stress you. myself out yeah. over nobody. She ain't no baby. Over she's nobody's not a baby. Son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're too grown for that. Baby. We too grown. The for moment it. that I feel like okay, I'm ready for a relationship. Like I'm yeah, ready to be yeah, somebody's yeah, yeah. wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put my wife face on. Okay. And then, but so, for now, I'm good where I'm at. Yeah, gangster. She's gangster. And dating is terrible. Gang, gang. Terrible. I promise you. And I do not use guys for anything. It's just. So you said fun and games. So you said there's yeah. a type though. Fun and games. Yeah. Fun what is it? The six 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 type, like the six feet six. Uh, make six. Yeah. What is your type? Better. So how is your type? What, 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 is what it? will you describe your type for the people? I'm gonna put it to you like home. this. I don't even let guys get close enough to me for them to be spending anything on me or going beyond anything. Yeah. You keep an arm out. Yeah. She's tough, my man. I do. I promise She's you. She's tough. It's crazy. No, because I was saying something that the girl was like, no. When I go out on a date, I tell the guy to pull up his bank app. <laughs> and I was like, yo, what's up? Who does if that, if yo? it doesn't have a couple million, at least I'm not even. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. why guys act the way that they act nowadays. Yeah, man. Because of women like that. And it's silly because, like, I'm not going to keep all the bread in one. <laughs> so, like, don't be stupid. And, and first of all, why would you even ask like someone? Like, yeah, that's, but that's really disrespectful. That's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, this is the point that we've come to. And I get it. Yeah. I do get it, guys. Because. She's hard and it's rough, but it doesn't mean that I go out and I'm like, okay, if he has money, I'm going to go out on a date with him. Obviously, guys that have money usually do not flaunt it. Facts. Okay? They'll keep it to themselves. Whoever has just a little chunk of it will display it because that's the only way they could actually get an attention of for, from women. It, it's the freaking honest truth, especially here in, in Miami, right? But a smart person that has business carries themselves in such a different way that they you won't even know he has money. Discreet. Mm -hmm. Very discreet. And at that point, if you do give them a chance and you actually allow them to get close to you, they know that you didn't get close to them because of the money that they have. Mm -hmm. That's real. So at that moment, they'll help you further than they actually would anyone else mm -hmm. because you're not fucking with me because of what I have. Yeah. Yeah. But usually the ones that display it and put it out there like they have all this bread, that's all they got. Short, I short hate that. income and short Bread income. Yeah. I don't like that. Like and I don't short. like show offs. I don't like keep your money to yourself. Like and then you like women, right? They'll be like, Oh, they're posting half naked shit, right? Which I do sometimes. <laughs> but Look, be respectful. You, got it, you, you got get it. me? Like you don't have to like be disrespectful to a woman just because she's wearing like a thong bathing suit, let's say. But I could take a compliment. Right. I could. But isn't that like sexualizing yourself a little bit? Yes. So then if you're sexualizing yourself a little bit and I come at you like in a sexual way, is that offensive to you? Like I say, damn, little mama, you got it going on or something. You'd be like, hi, hey, please. Hey. You know? I don't take it offensively from people that I know. Right. I take it offensively from strangers from that strangers. don't know me from my kind of pain. Right, right. Because you should know me. You should know it. better. You, you shouldn't. That's not the way Just you open up. Like exactly. Not everybody knows. <laughs> but the thing you know. is that if you're posting that kind of stuff, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm speaking in general now for the general guy out there who sees a woman posting well, you could say, a bikini you could say, pic, you especially you could, like if it's no, a bikini, it's different. Laugh. But a thong, it's like no, no. Whatever you post, damn girl, you letting no, it listen. all hang out. No, you feel me? So it's like it tempts you to say something slick. Yeah, say something. You know what I'm saying? Like look with the duck face and all. You be like, hold up, wait, mommy, wait. You feel me? Those are dogs. Those that's not. You feel me? Gentleman so say, it makes you or, or, like ho I'm holler from it. the car type shit, you know? And yeah. then the girl turns around, ay, please, bro. You I'm know gonna, what I'm saying? I'm going to help. Like, right. But I'm going to help right. the gentleman. So what would, help. would be a good wait, forma? Wait, wait, wait. Listen, I was I, I, hold on, hold on. I got to hear her no, no, say no, no, it. I'm going to hit it first. No, no. And then <laughs> I'm going to let her get back. Oh, you're going to give her the game. No, no. I would say the beach is beautiful today. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but I'm not saying that. So me I, like that don't make you laugh. I'll be like, the beach is beautiful today. That's a different game. But they, See, you're going to get there. a response if you do it's, that. It's not Absolutely. Different. But that's what I'm saying. I want to hear her yes. take. Shit like that, like funny shit. I don't like very sexualized stuff. Like, I don't want right. you to be like, oh, yeah, mommy, tremendo culo. Like, but you, see, hablar así? like yeah. you see, but that's what I'm saying. So if you're posting. You get you eliminate it yourself. Dumb. It like it tempts the guy to say okay. something vulgar. But you're eliminating and then yourself. the chick automatically gets turned off when you say something listen, vulgar. You're eliminating Wait. yourself, guys, by doing that. Look, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Thank you. Let me, you, yeah. you but it's like um, what do you call you that shit? Dope. Catfish, right? It's like they're, they're you don't have to. Pitch. No, I'm not catfishing. They're fooling listen, you into that shit. Look, you don't have to no. pitch. You can underhand it. That's what look, you but it's kind of like a catfish because you're posting something sexy. I say something fly back or something slick to you, and you get insulted, and you're like, I. 
Pero yes. es depende cómo los diga. Right. But si tú me dices a mí that I look good. Some girls with, won't respond even right. like that. Yeah. Some girls Facts. won't respond. Go ahead, They go won't. Ahead. It, that's how you like, como una pesa, right? Estos son los buenos, estos son los malos. As you keep making stupid comments, you're going to be gonna like, do. I'm, yeah. There you go, guys. You learning? I, I promise you. You're like, learning, it depends. guys. It depends how you talk to women. Like, women don't want to be, yes, I am posting a sexualized picture. Don't remind You're that. You're correct. Yeah, don't remind me. I get exactly. it. Yes, I posted it. I, I saw myself. I, I know. Took that I did I know it. I look good 50 of I, them. How I'm many? 50, 50 or 100? What? Pictures you take before you. Oh. There you go. Every angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then one time my friend was like, people, sometimes if they do it, actually, actually get to see you naked, you don't think they're going to like, they're going to see you naked. Va a tener un chicho, tres, cuatro chicho. They need to know that they know un poquito de chicho también. Que of course. What's wrong <laughs> so with the little body? chichos, though? Like, no, nothing. That. Come on. Of course. It's part of that. life. It's part of who you I are. I think that's the fly shit in life. Yes. Those chichos make you. Yeah. I do want to do plastic surgery, though. Why? Because I want to be perfect. Really? Wow. Yeah, but you know what it is? But do you do you think that th there's such thing as perfection? No. That's what I was going to say. But it's perfect in my eyes. Mm. You want to feel better about yes. yourself. Yes. That'll it make you feel better about yourself? Yes. It wouldn't have to be like, oh, I'm perfect. Like, my body's perfect. But for me, when I look at myself in the mirror, it's perfect to me. It doesn't, for it might not be perfect eyes, to that's you. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's for got, me. It's what people, yeah. I don't really want to get You look pretty mind, damn close to perfect. But a perception you know, of the mind. I don't know if you want to fix it even more than that, but you look pretty no, close. No, yeah. To there's things that I think everyone's um, you look, subconscious. You're of, going for the Kim K look? No. Like the Kardashian look? No, mm -hmm. because their butt is just weird. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like too much. I don't like the... I don't like it when the butt doesn't match the thighs. I don't like that. It looks weird, right? Like an ant. Doesn't and that's, to be honest, like <laughs> I wanted to, I make, I want to make my butt bigger. Like I want, you know, I don't like think it. you need to, bro. You're like, you, come on. I know, but es que la mente. Oh my God. That's, see, this is what I'm girls, saying yeah, about no, the I technology. Know, know, this is wrong. <laughs> like, Social I'm media will really. This lady is beautiful. Know, it's crazy. Thank you. Social media will really fuck you up. That's what, see, this is what we talk about. It really fucks you, like, and I'm going to be dead ass honest. Okay. It really it's does like too. ruined our can whole perception. Do you be wait, scrolling wait. in Instagram and you see these perfect bodied women and you're like, oh my God, like, what's happening here? Okay, watch this. This is what I told my lady. I said, this is the problem with Instagram is that it's, watch this, it's embedding those images in your mind. It's engraving that shit in their heads, yeah. bro. And we're, we're and, on it so you, much that, what do you And you go to sleep and you, you see it and you see, think about it, there's images in your head that you can't get out of your mind. I'm being real. There's I images that, I know, I go through the same thing and I'm not even on it like that and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. And it really fucks I take you. a shower and I'm like, this person, I'm like, why am I thinking about this person? I'm like, oh, that's Instagram. So yeah. I got to, Get off IG for it's, it's, it's scary. It's jail. It's I don't jail. like that. You get me? Anybody? You don't even know him. You're like this guy's in the mountain. Why am I thinking about this guy <laughs> in a red truck? Because you saw the, yeah. the guy in the mountain. You, in the going, red truck. A, I'm like, oh, this yeah. is powerful. Now I get it. It That's is. Why it is very powerful. Yeah. It is. The other day I was watching a video that said that we're America's brainwashed, Facts. and that China and these other countries They're are not. Us. That if you look at their TikTok over there, it's different. The TikTok that the what comes out is educational, yeah. how to make money, Information, how to yes. uh, become Success. smarter, how to be mm -hmm. more, you know, successful, yeah. more um, or whatever. Anything that's good, positive that you could think about, they'll show you over Here, there. Superstars, Here, negativity. the most dumbest <laughs> shit. Yeah, like it's viral. just so stupid. <laughs> You're talking about in China, right? No, yes. here. Yeah, yeah like yeah. in China, it's, it's all good shit. Yeah. Great, all the great, great yes, chemistry, the high quality, uh, high quality so, uh, projects that they do, whatever. How to make money, yeah, how to yeah, be yeah. more fit, how, whatever mm -hmm. the case exactly. might be. In here, it's all positive stuff. Over here, it's all twerking and dances. Negative. And dumb. The girl's new way to say hello pa is, to, uh, is to pop the, the, the pop tide. The Tide pod challenges. Remember the kids were drinking the tides? Yeah, the cold water Bro, challenge, everything. What the hell? And there, and there, there, people are doing it. And there's challenges that I do too. I'm not gonna lie. It's crazy. Well, I mean, you know, it's part of the whole social media yeah, thing. Yeah, it's nothing, not everything's bad, but yeah. the things that they do, like, they're so advanced mm -hmm. than where we are right now, guys. Yes. It's scary to see how these people live their lives and we're just over here. They're just dumbing us down. I already said it. America's being dumbed down. It Nobody is. And knows. I think our, this new generation is just so Getting easy to manipulate. Down. Dumbing down and even yeah. downer. Yeah, that's, that's the scary part because uh, with this whole AI thing, it's like, it's almost like, Now you can't even tell. 
You could get somebody's voice and make them say something, and you're like, hey, did you say that? No, I didn't say that. Yes. But it's AI. And it, yeah. The other day, what is that? They'll like, fool I'm, anybody nowadays. Social media is funny as shit, though, sometimes. I was looking at just scrolling to shit, and there was a meme that said, I don't give a shit if you got screenshots, right? Those I don't give a shit of what? If you got screenshots. Yeah. I don't give a shit if you got screenshots. Them shits could be uh, photoshopped nowadays. Them shits could be AI, boy. Show me. I want to see it in yeah. person. I don't believe what you got. To you feel me? I, don't no, I know. They're no. manipulating the mind. I know that. No, I promise. That's what I'm saying. That's it. It's already to the point where it's like. Nothing can be trusted or actually believed in. That's crazy, man. I don't like that, guys. It's just so. Yeah. And it's then our kids world. are the ones growing. Well, your kids are already older, but. My, you your know, kids my, are. Yeah. We were born in the internet age, but the kids now are the internet. Like your exactly. kids are. My, my son, they are the internet. His is a little like bit I said, older. we were born. We were saying yeah, that yeah. yeah last night. We were born before the internet, so yeah. we saw the internet come Being into formed. effect. Come in, yeah, now, come alive. The, the right? younger kids, these kids yeah. were born are in, the in the internet. Yeah, you get me. They so really it's are. hard to take away that device because mm-hmm. everybody got it. Look, that's why I asked you about the phone. So like, for instance, I was with a girl prior, and she had like three kids. So even one of the kids didn't have the phone. But watch what he did. Genius level. He would borrow the phone from one of his friends. Right. Open up a Gmail account. Started playing video games because the other friend had two phones. So even if they don't have a phone, and this is in daycare, homie's about 11 years old. I'm like, man, you're going to be very smart. <laughs> you're going like to be very smart. Like, they're going to find a way. They'll find a way. Find a way. I'm just amazed to see how they work to find a way. That's what I like. Yep. How hard you got to work for it to manipulate it to work back for you. But it's good, though, because they're actually using their thinking brains brain, to actually get power, it yeah, right? and they, and they, Like and they what I was it. just saying earlier, my son's like, no, because... We're I'm going we're going to this party mm-hmm. and I'm like okay where's the party yeah yeah where on the right. time no because they're renting like a banquet hall Ooh. and at the banquet hall they'll charge him this yes. much money and then they'll charge the 16 17 year old kids yeah. they'll charge him 10 15 dollars to get in girls get in by 12 o'clock after that they pay if they get there later they make all the money from the banquet hall they'll pay the banquet hall and still keep money and then split it into the three four guys that actually rented at the banquet hall. So they're making their money, like and they're positive. doubling it, yeah, 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 the yeah. money. Right. And they're 16, 17. Hustling. Yeah, we used to do that. I used to do that, but my dad was my only partner back then. When we were like 14, 15, 16, we used to do the same thing. Really? I never did that when I was younger. Right now, bang- I mean, I was a DJ. You know? Okay, but it's because that's something yeah. that you've been doing right. because, but some of these kids are like, one is a barber. Yeah. No, they're hustling. So he ma- yeah, he makes dinerito, right. you he know. Knows, he da, understands da, da. already. And el otro, I don't know what, I don't know what he. They doing. have their little network though. Yes. And, tell, tell and it works for them. Tell, yeah. them. tell them to call me. We yeah. can teach them a little bit. The next level. That's yes. what they miss. That's, that's what, what I'm trying yeah, to tell you. Real. Because I promise that, you. That's what I say. Yo me quedé con la boca abierta. That's what we need. Bring them around the real ones, and then you're like, you need to do this in them because yeah, they're already doing. They're active. It's different. If they're 16, 17 year olds with this type of mentality, I think it's something you should look at. No, definitely. When you're trying to push, when you're trying to push them, like I said, when I. I'm trying to push my son to be an entrepreneur. I'll be 1,000 mm-hmm. with it, but he doesn't want to. My son, wa- and we, we understand that some people are alphas and then some people are betas. Yep. So that's what you need to understand. So that person that's alpha, let's eat together in the same shark circle because Facts. your mind is a mm-hmm. sponge. Facts. And you're eating that, and you could apply fast. No, yes. remember, when you're that age and you're still in high school, y'all, Remember, there's you another two or three thousand yeah. kids right there. That's your you instant fan on, base yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Right, me, and those kids will do anything that is it? cool. Yeah. yeah. Because if say, it's you know, cool, we I want land. it. We yeah, almost no. got to land, but I was going to say. No, but you got definitely got to put the kids in touch with us. We definitely, yeah. definitely want to touch base with the, um, with the young kids. Before yeah. we go, I was going to ask you one question. Um, yes. so, so this is church. We're almost done for go talk podcast. We're in the building. Anything you want to get off your chest before we close out with the show? It could be positive. It could be negative. It's just your perspective. I'm probably going to do positive because I'm always trying to be positive, Patty. Um, But simple. Do whatever you want to do, no matter what anyone has to say about it. Don't worry about what anybody has to say. Absolutely not. Do whatever you want. I I promise you. Go for it. Go for it. Take notes, kids. Go for it. This is P Money giving y'all the game right here. I promise. The more you think about it, the more you hold yourself back. You're pretty much setting yourself back yourself. Don't procrastinate. I think we are our own... Um, worst enemy? Yes. We're yeah. our own anchors. Oh, our own worst fact. critics. Yeah. Ooh, anchor. Mm-hmm. An- that's yeah. a good one. That's we a real we get comfortable. Yeah. We get complacent. Facts. We don't want to move from that square. Mm-hmm. Be uncomfortable. I, I promise you. Like, There's things that I'm like, Yo, I don't think I could ever do this. 
and then I and do figure it, it out, yeah. and I'm like I fucking did it. That's well, they say the that's, level. that's like, and I love that for me. Yeah, yeah. They say that's where you grow when you're uncomfortable. Yeah. That's where you grow. That's where you have yeah. to grow. As a person. And fear. it feels good. Yeah, yeah, it feels great. Fear. It feels great. It's yeah, just like yeah. when you don't want to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Go to the gym, and then when you leave I'm the gym, I'm starting the gym on Monday. Gotta, come on, you got to do that. Though. Well, if you do that, at, you won't have to. I have to, to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. And oh, that yeah. for me is like Even before, you should be there by 5. <laughs> wake up at 4.30 and be there by 5. No, está bien, hey, go to sleep at 8. You got to go to sleep at 8. It'll be open at 5. That's the only way it works. And that's the problem. I cannot go to sleep at 8 because I have to cook. I have to check homework. I have to pick up. I have to clean. I have. I can't. It's different. Mother mother, mother talk. See, mama talk right there. I promise you. like, And then I have to like. Pause. I have to like put it all together. But I have to take care of myself too, you know. Yes. Well, you're doing an exceptional job, P, and we uh, we commend you and we thank you. This is why you're here. For, thank you. You know, thank taking you. a little bit of time off from your motherly duties and coming to this hang out fun. with us. Yes. We before she walked you. in the building, yeah. the ready the son was already on the phone. I Mama, promise you, yeah. I wasn't even getting out the car. <laughs> yeah, Ma, where are the underwear, <laughs> boy? You, you know. check those drawers. Well, I'd be <laughs> overprotective <laughs> of mom they're too. They're not if calling she was daddy to find out where the drawers are. Yeah, that's good. They know that I was doing the podcast. Yeah, beautiful thing. They were like, who do you think you are? I'm like... <gasps> so what is it? D Dylan's the young one and the older one Dylan's is Dylan's the 10-year-old yeah. and Jaden is the 16-year-old. We got to link up with Jaden. We got to link yeah. up with Jaden and the homies. Yeah, yeah. And I said, hey, what is your uh, process? How, how are you linked in with this? Because I'm confused <laughs> right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And He's I said, plug. You, pay, I said you pay to get in these parties? Yeah. He's like, nah, ma, I never pay. We got the plug. Yeah, I yeah. say, okay. I say, how, why do you contribute for them to let he you in? He brings the girls. He brings people. He's, he's the, the boss. He's the agent. I know. He's that's the, what I'm he's saying. The, he's the network he's the king. Lead. He's the network king. What I call <laughs> He's the he's the one that he's, promotes it, that gets it going, that he's, talks to people. He get it yeah. from his mama. From he's his mama. he's he's no. money's son, bro. To be honest with you, I never expected for my child to be that way. Incredible. He got people. They just skills. get it. They just get it. People skills. That's it's like inherited. It's yeah. like he, he, you know. I say he's his genes. mama's son for real. Yeah. Because it's, that's not like that. Right. He's more quiet, more to himself. Not outgoing. You're the outgoing. I'm outgoing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jaden turned out to be a little bit like me, that's and beautiful. I love that for him. That's beautiful. I love that. For that's him. beautiful. Dylan. One is sports and outgoing, and then the other <laughs> one's all robotics. And, Robotic, and, artistic, and, yeah. and no sé qué más. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. I have You're a blessed. little bit of both worlds. You're blessed, Pete. Awesome. I am. Uh, you wanna, uh, I'm very grateful. Leave, you want to introduce another one into this world? Or you already, that's it. You oh, I can't even have no more kids. Oh, okay. There no? you go, guys. I already well, I I tied right. my She's done. Oh, I tied my two. Yeah, she's done. Well, that's it. I don't want no more kids. She's got two anyways. That's good, yeah. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. Me I too. Just I felt the same way. I just but I still raised uh, my, my stepdaughter pretty much since she was like two, three. So that's great your job. She's my too. dog. Yeah, she's my baby. That's she's right down the hall, actually. She's right down the, yeah. Right. Right. She's got her little photo studio right down the hall. That's good. Yeah, we're like best friends. I love her to death. That's Cheer. good. But well, yeah, man. Fuego Money. Talk Podcast. Fuego Thank you talk. for having me, Thank guys. You, Thank you for coming. I had a great time. And like I tell everybody, this is your uh your platform too. So whenever you want, you can come back. You want to have, have a little stuff, therapy, a little talk. You can come back. Yeah, we didn't get into the. We didn't get into the into the. Yeah, that's round two. Yeah, this is light work. This is that's like what I'm saying. I know you guys got a lot of history. We so got like into if the. If you ever want to come back and you have some time, you can hit us up. We and do. Come back. We've done want. a couple of things. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. To see me in action when I was lit. That's it. That's what it is. Bro. P Money and Hurricane <laughs> Joe. No, that's going to be a book. That. We, that's going to be a book. That. The next round we could get She'll open. Be like, that sounds like a blockbuster yeah. movie. A thousand dollars. Throw it. Throw it, like, throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Back in the day. <laughs> yo, money flowing like water. That's Imagine. when you know it was real. I promise you. That's when you want to just get rid of it, boy. Mm. He's just burning a hole <laughs> in my pocket. Just go. Just then go. My friends would be it like, I never seen you like that, Vic. You're acting more crazy. <laughs> They'll be like, in your yeah. eyes, I don't even know who you are. The good times. It was just fun. It was just fun. Thank they come in again. The good times are coming oh, again. It's though. coming. Multi millions. Yeah. Hundreds of millions now. I want to be there, too. Oh, you know. You oh, no. Ah, we, well, for sure, we're bringing P with us. P Money going to be rolling with us to the end. You already know, man. Fuego Talk Podcast, you be the underboss, the apex, my partner, Hurricane Joe Easy, the one and only, the lovely, the beautiful P. What is it? Vida with P, right? Vida. At, at Vida underscore with underscore, underscore P. P. There you go. At Vida underscore with underscore P yes. on IG. You already know. You be the underboss. Shout out to Marcus Shooter. Yes. Happy Friday. We out. Shout out Virgo.